What is up guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Valkyra Chronicles. Me Chino Chinchino here. So last time we were still in our battle at the Cloden Wildwood and Mr. Yeager, one of the generals of the Imperial, decided to show up in a super special Lucas tank. We don't even know how much uh, HP or the body or the treads have, so this is getting kind of scary. So let's bring our anti-tank unit. Pretty close to the battle, but not not in the battle. Watch out for that mine. And oh, this is like perfect. Get her behind the fence so she doesn't get shot. You could have placed your better, but that's okay. Um, you know what? I want. I really want to take up this anti-tank cannon. Cause that seems like it could hurt. But I want first. I want Jaeger to make the first move. Patience is a virtue, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. Oh god, he's moving. What is he gonna do? Okay, let's see. I wish I they would give me a better view of what's going on here. That's like one of the only- Oh my god! <laughs> oh man, what a terrible general. Mr. was he pathetic. Just don't move again. He moved again. This is when it gets kind of scary, because, you know, he moved again. What's he planning? Oh well, it looks like Rosie is safe for now, because he pulled away. And if he's facing the other way, he is wide open for Yoko to one-shot him with his freaking missile thing. Well, let's hope that he moved away. Nope, he is like in perfect position. Great. Hmm. Now the question is, how are we going to take care of him? Actually, I don't think it's going to be too hard. If we can get Alicia and Alex to kill those shock troopers, then we can get Yoko around the tank to blow him up. I like that plan. Let's go for that. We just gotta watch out for that damn A9 T cannon at the top there. Let's see, they got they only got three shock troopers here. That's really nothing at all. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We have, look at all those command points we have too, that's really important. We've been stocking up. So let's go into add. I'm on my way now! Okay, so see we can't go around because it's like So anyway, yeah, it doesn't really matter how it's gonna sneak Enemy out. Spotted. Who's shooting him? Mind your manners, Lieutenant. Okay. We can definitely kill this guy, so let's kill this guy. Alex? Look at that monster. Absolute beast is what he is. I did you it. You did do it, because you were the man. Now, end my turn. We're going to use Alex a lot in this. There's only two more people. Just leave it to me. Gonna do. We're going to crouch over a little bit. Bring out the hand grenade. Just make sure to break that Take sandbag. This. That's all we need to do, get that sandbag. We almost killed that one shock trooper, which sets me up perfectly for the next one. And our turn is taking a lot of damage. Not not really a lot. So now our third turn with Alex. I'm on my way now. Gonna beast everybody right now. Okay. Oh, okay, they killed their own man for us. I was going to try to double shoot them, but um, I'll take it. So now let's go up to here. And let's kill him. I mean, look at that. Alex took out, what, three or four people? Now stand and get the hell out of there, because you definitely have done enough. Now what are we going to do is just pray that Yoko has decent enough defenses. Actually, oh, I know exactly. We're going to bring Rosie up from behind and try to kill that Lieutenant or whatever his name is, like, knocking off. Like, some freaking Russian guy or something or other. If we could kill him off easily, then Yoko can pretty much walk right into the tank, blow him up, and then we could rush in with Alicia to capture the base, and that'll be the end of Wildwood. Okay, so first turn, what we need to do is break his sandbag cover, but you could still throw it at him for some damage. Oh, that did great damage, Rosie. Great job. Okay. The only thing that sucks is now he is looking at us, so it may be harder to shoot him. But it also drags the attention off, uh... Yoko, if anything, so what we're going to do now is just go for the shot. Oh, of course he's going to stop it. That's not good. Okay, Rosie, we're going to run. I guess Rosie couldn't take him out, but that's okay. Don't die, Rosie. That's all I ask. Just get out. Okay, that's perfect. Behind the tree. Okay, so anyway, he's not facing that way, so now we can allow Yoko some time. Oh my god, come on. There we go. Come on, you old lady, let's go. I wish we could sneak around that way, but we can't. Please neutralize the 
enemy found. Ooh, when we get a nice little look at what's in there. They got a few people of defense over there at the base, so that's good knowledge. They got two shock troopers. Hmm. Leave it to on okay, Yoko. Yoko, come on. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, let's go. Just aim right there. Bye-bye, General Jaeger. One shot, one kill for all you Call of Duty fans. That is the power of Lancers on critical plates. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Looks like Golly has got some competent tank men. General Yeager, the base patrol has finished evacuating along with the supplies. All right. That means this base is just another patch of woods now. We'll thank the Gallians for this another day. Get the last of your men out. Welts, the enemy is abandoning the base. One step ahead. They timed that perfectly. Just glad that backup unit arrived late. Sorry, dear. Oh, oh, they left. We can't even kill these guys now. I just hope that lieutenant guy is still there, because Rosie's got a bone to pick with him. Aw, oh, he left too. Well, that looks like victory for Squad 7, so uh, who else but, okay. I mean, I mean, come on, really? Who else is going to finish it off but Alicia for me? Let's go. How they move that anti-tank cannon so fast? Oh, well. Whee! Let's tip the scales in our favor. Oh, oh, we can occupy from here. Cool. And that's Operation Complete. Hell yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure I got a C or D on that. I'm calling bullshit. I think a B is worthy of that. Operation complete. We took Still think base. I should get a B. Let's see. Oh, boom! Got a B. Hell yes. There we go. And that is a crap load of money and EXP. You know, we showed the uh, Imperials who were boss there. They bring in their super big tank. We bring in some old lady. One shot. And that is why you don't, I don't know, you don't let your guard down against old people or something if you're going to take something like this. Alright. <coughs> Alright, we got one more little episode to finish off Chapter 5. So let's, let's watch. Well done, soldiers. The operation was a success. Another victory for Welkin Gunther! Nope, not this time. All the glory goes to this little guy. Mike? Way to go, Hans. First day on the job and you're already a hero. Our success today was thanks to the animals living in these woods. Mike, Mike. So, uh... Who named the Bacon Hans? Captain Verat, I'd like to introduce Squad 7's newest addition, Hans. Hans, I hear you performed admirably today. I expect great things from you. Dismissed. Oh, yuck. Well, that's that. So, oh. Oh, no. Chapter 6. A desert oh, encounter. <laughs> this mission's hard. I'm just gonna throw that out there now. This mission is most likely gonna make me rage and gonna take me a lot of episodes. But that's a story for another time, folks, because thanks to Hans, we took the mm, supply base in Cloden Wildwood. So, you know, they promoted some bio guy to lieutenant on his first day of the job. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, Hans is a general at this point. Anyway, next time, we'll be here, Chapter 6, A Desert Encounter. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave your game.